hello guys welcome back to the channel well on today's video we are going to do the final drive on this f80 m3 yes this car is sold and the buyer is actually coming to pick up the car in a few hours so this is my final drive with this my baby what used to be my baby that's now going to be someone else baby let me explain why i decided to sell this car <laughs> if this is the first time you stop by my channel thank you for stopping by make sure that you subscribe hit the notification icon and like this video browse the channel to see any other videos that i've had about this car and any other cars that i have i have now a porsche cayman s i have an e46 m3 i used to have this but now sadly this is the final day of me owning this beautiful piece of engineering so the reason i really decided to sell the f80 m3 is pretty simple on my last video i did kind of go into a few details about why i wasn't really driving this car that much compared to any other car that i had well that is some of the reason why i decided to sell this car this car is a great beautiful car i mean look at it it is beautiful and i really wish i could keep it but the way i love this car it's 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 just weird weird in a way where i don't really want to abuse it i've never abused the car it's like i always drive this car i baby it and i don't really i don't know i just didn't have the heart to really push the car that much and even taking the car to the track since i own it i always wanted to take it to the track i've planned to take it on the track i even registered to take this car to the track but then i never could i never could i just love the car so much and the car is just beautiful i don't want anything to happen to this car for that reason it was always parked mostly parked since i got the other toys and i was driving them you know those like e46 i mean e36 m3 and the mini cooper those are the cars that i really really drove the most like i think i took a lot of joy out of those cars compared to this car first when i purchased the car it was like a reward to myself all the hard work that i've accomplished in my life but then every time i was driving this car it was always more like pushing me to do better right and because of the love that i had for this car i never really wanted to go crazy on it that's what you saw i was doing subtle mode even in terms of performance it looks i did oem plus because i just love the way the car is and I know that although this car is going today, this car is definitely, definitely, not this specific one, but the F80 M3 is definitely going to come back in my life in the future. And I see myself buying this car again when, you know, the value drops a little bit and, and maybe I have more money or whatnot. But for now, because I bought that Cayman, I just don't want to have too much, you know, debt out there like that, you know. So it's also financial because i'm still paying for this car and i'm paying on the porsche although yeah i could have paid cash or whatever but i, I didn't feel like doing that i prefer to do other things with my money and this is not a money conversation but i just wanted to be a little responsible and i know that the cayman is a driver's car and i know i'm going to drive it you know nicely not trash it the way i was driving this but that one is going to give me more fun compared to this because it is manual and it is a car that is about handling this guy has some handling when you do a little bit of aftermarket things but i didn't want to go that route because i just love the way the car is but i wasn't getting a lot of the fun that i used to have with like the e36 out of this car not that this car is not capable of no i was not just getting it because you need to be a professional driver to kind of like extract the joy that i'm looking for i'm seeking out of this car and the only place you can really get that is when you go in the track because in the track you can really corner this car the way you can i mean in the 360s you can but because this car is just so fast I, I was not really getting a lot out of it like when i'm in fourth gear or third gear and i want to hit like 5000 rpms the engine is screaming the uh, the exhaust is loud but i'm also doing 100 miles per hour and you know with twisties and 100 it's not really safe right and the track yes it is great you can do that it's a course that is made for that you know and and in case some happen there's obstacle that can help you protect your life somehow but out in the twisties not really compared to the e36 when 
I was hitting the same RPMs, I was not doing that much speed. I was maybe at like 60, you know, where I can still control the car somehow. I mean, I'm not a professional driver. That's why I feel like someone else can enjoy this car maybe the way I was and 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 really take out everything that they can out of this car. I know the Porsche is replacing this car. This was like the flagship car of my channel. This is really what made my channel grow and I wish I could keep it, but you know, I have to be honest with you guys. I just cannot have the Cayman and this at the same time. You know, I have to be responsible my finances because YouTube is not paying me. This is my hobby. So um, I have to do what it's okay for my family without putting my, you know, my life in, in, in like in financial situation where I can handle things if, you know, rainy days comes or whatnot. Before I actually started this video, I sat here for like maybe 15 minutes just looking at it and, and decided if this was even a good idea, you know, and but it's, it's just sad that I had to um, let the car go. I put everything back to stock and, you know, now it doesn't sound like it used to sound. It's, it's, it's like it's no longer my car because all my personal touches that I've done outside of the car, everything is gone and because and I remove all the parts and actually I'm selling them. So if you check my Instagram or my Facebook, marketplace you you will see parts on sale if you're interested reach out to me i can i can let you uh, know the price and whatnot let's let's go outside so so we can see the car the way it looks now that is close to stock because i didn't remove like some parts because i just didn't feel like wasting my time doing that well here idea. she is in all her glory as you can see i left the lightweight front lip because the buyer, you know, wanted the lightweight, so we made a little deal. Instead of me taking it out, I left it there for him. Same thing for the side skirts. TLG March flap, they are not too expensive, so I just decided to leave it for him. Kind of like a gift. And I also left the stud conversion kit, although, you know, these are not fairly expensive, so I might as well just leave it so that it's going to use, it's going to help the, you know, the guy, whatever he's swapping wheels or whatnot. So he decided to purchase the car with this wheel set. I know I have three set of wheels, but this is what he was interested in. And I removed my spacers. That's why it looks kind of funny with the wheel. <laughs> Look at it. Because the car is still lowered, I did not remove the EMD springs. You can see right here on the back here that it's looking a little weird. On the back, I took out my GTS tail light. I put back the factory exhaust now the car is so quiet i mean this is crazy how much that rim is exhaust and the active other world mid pipe changed the way this car sound i mean this is crazy me i was used to that sound and it felt to me like it was actually factory but no this car is quiet as hell now it's like the startup is quiet everything is quiet sport mode when you open the flaps everything is so quiet now with this car it is crazy but now it is someone else's baby. Um, I mean, I, I regret, I regret doing this, but I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun with the Porsche. I will miss you, man. I will miss you. Ooh, this car is sexy, man, man. I definitely need to get another one. If I'm getting another one, not if, when I get another one, I am gonna get the Yas Marina Blue. I feel like that is the perfect color for this car. Yep, 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 yep. In the future, man. See you. And again, I'm going to make sure I find a Yes Marina M3 with a red interior, just like this one, carbon fiber roof. And probably 2018 in the future, maybe in 2028, 20, when the car is like 10 years old, when you can pay maybe 25 grand or 30 grand and get like a nice one with a little low mileage. That's probably what I'm going to try to get in the future. Because I dearly love this car and i know i want this car back in my life because i was not able to get all the joy out of this car and yeah man oof, this car is sexy lord have met mercy batman mobile ooh, 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 ooh. all right let me go ahead and do that final drive with you guys before the actual guy come and pick up the car so I have the current M1, engine is somewhat warm, I mean, I mean you can still hear the engine a little bit, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, oh the bubble are so quiet, 
This is crazy. this break 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 yes sign for the twisties twisties this car let me just enjoy it by myself guys all right guys this is it this is my goodbye to my f80 m3 right there it was a nice journey i had a it was actually a pleasure for me to actually drive this car i never knew that i could own a car like this you know and then um, i was an owner and i know in the future i will own a car like this again probably not this specific one but another f80 m3 now it's on to better things so goodbye final day with this baby goodbye thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video i have a lot of more fun a lot of things coming up on the channel e46m3 porsche cayman s so see you guys on the next one bye bye <laughs>